Okay, so uh, now we're at the estimating form for the bushes, hedges, and flower beds. A couple things I wanted to note. Number one, I did lose some of the data in the transition of the videos. So I went back, entered in, the, in, the, entered in that data. It may not be exactly the same, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just showing you guys the process on this and how it's going to end up in the form that you're going to estimate. So don't worry about that at all. Again, this is just meant to show you guys how to go through the forms, enter in the numbers, and do the processes. Um, another thing I noticed when I was looking back at it is that I did change the margin a couple times from 140 to 150, um, the, the uh, markup rather. And that's another thing. Don't worry about that. I would like you guys to keep that consistent most of the time. I don't see a reason for you to vary from that. Like I said, you can always go back and you can change those margins or markups based on the, uh, the feedback from the customer and you know determine if you want to discount it at all. So with that being said, with bushes, hedges, and flower beds, basically you're going to have either a rectangular bush or hedge or you're going to have a round bush or hedge. If it's a round bush or hedge, what I want you to do is pretend that you're putting a box over that and take the measurements as if it was re rectangular. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to, to calculate um, and it's almost uh, impossible to calculate the surface area of a round bush. So keep that in mind. Like I said, just pretend that you're, you're building a box around it and measure it that way. Okay, with that being said, what you're going to need to do is determine the surface area, square footage of the parts of the bush that you're, you're, or rather the sides and the ends of the bush that you're going to decorate. So some bushes you'll be decorating the front, the back, and the top as well as the sides. Others you'll probably be just doing the front, the top, and the sides. That's going to be the case if the, the uh, hedge of the bush is up against the house, up against something where you can't see that third, that, uh, that back side, so it's not, doesn't make any sense to do it. So like I said, just go ahead and calculate the square footage of the surface area that you have. Then enter that in right here. I'm going to say my calculations total up to be 300. You'll notice there's five different boxes that you, or five different fields that you can enter this information in. What I would suggest doing is just adding them all up instead of separating them and putting them into one field. But if you want to, you can certainly split them up and, um, and go ahead and do it that way. That's why we have the extra fields here. So based on the 300 uh, square feet of surface area, that's going to give me 1140 feet total. My break even is uh, 46.88. My markup, 150%. That gives me a labor charge of 117.20. Okay, and I just noticed that that was already selected. That's because I had already gone through this form um, a couple of minutes ago before actually recording the video. So just going to go ahead and show you guys. You do want to select that. So my break even is $46.88. My labor charge is going to be $117.20 based on 150% markup. I already know that I'm going to use 1140 feet of, um, of lights based on the, the surface area of the parts of the bush that I'm covering. I'm going to go ahead and go with type of lights. Again, that was already pre-filled in from, uh, from before. But let's go ahead and reselect that. So I'm going to go 25 foot mini LED strands, 6 inch spacing. I filled that before it as well. Sorry about that. So I'm going to take my calculator. 1140 uh, feet divided by 25 equals 45.6. So I'm going to need 46 strands. So up here, by the way, guys, when it converts this, it's automatically converting your surface area square footage into the amount of linear feet of lights that you're going to need. So this down here is not the... Um, it's not any kind of surface area equation. It's actually the linear feet of lights that you're going to use for that bush that you're doing. So apparently with this, that's a pretty large bush or, or several bushes, and I'm going to use a lot of lights. My light charge is going to be $632.50. Labor charge is only $117.20. Um, you do go pretty fast when you're decorating the bushes, so that makes sense. And my total is $749.70. Okay, let's go ahead and click next. Now we're at trees. And a couple things on the trees. You are going to actually use this chart to calculate, uh, to do a quick calculation of the minutes and the feet that it's going to require for a particular type of wrap on a particular size of tree. So you'll see we've got this column right here, which is a basic inside wrap. Next column, moderate, moderate inside wrap. 
Another column which has a typo, it's supposed to be extensive inside wrap, not etensive inside wrap. Not, uh, another column, moderate outside wrap, and then our last column here, which is extensive outside wrap. Okay, and then right here we've got our different sizes. We've got tiny tree. Once we get into small tree, we have small tree A and B. Once we get into medium, large, extra large, and giant, you'll see that we have A, B, and C. So we've categorized those to basically be able to split the trees up even within a category. So let's say that you have a medium tree, middle of the road medium tree, based on our pictures, that's gonna be a B. If it's a uh, medium tree C, it's more uh, on the verge of a large tree. So I think that's pretty, uh, fairly self-explanatory. You're just making little subcategories in case you are, again, like an extra large C would be on the verge of a giant tree A. So if you have any questions on that, just talk to the, uh, talk to the master licensees about that, your trainers, or give me a call on that, and I can very easily explain that to you. Right here, you've got a quick reference back to the other stuff that we've already looked at. So that's a link that will take you to the pages that will refresh your memories on the trees. This is obviously a picture of the uh, trunk and limb wrap or an inside wrap on the tree. So we've got the red area here, which is a basic inside wrap. The red and yellow, which is a moderate inside wrap. Red, yellow, and white is an extensive inside wrap. And if you wanted to click on that, you can click on that and it'll make that picture larger. So let's go back here. And just so you know, as it notes right here, the person standing in the pictures is six foot four. So that'll give you a perspective on these different size trees is, or trees and how we categorize those trees. So tiny trees, we've got a few pictures of tiny trees here. Small trees, a few pictures. Medium trees, a few pictures here. Large trees, a few pictures here. And you can click on all these as well if you want to see a bigger picture of them. Any of those are clickable on. And then we're also going to have the um, the extra large and then the giant trees. So I think you guys get the get the gist of that. So I'm going to go ahead and back up here, close this out. Okay, so what I'm going to do next step is how many different tree sizes do you, do you have? We've got the availability of five different sizes. Again, just go ahead and kind of average them out. So I'm going to go with two. And right here, this is already pre-filling out. Let me just clear this out real quick because of the last time I filled this form out. So it will memorize a lot of this stuff. And you um, actually, once you close out of, out of it all the way, it, it shouldn't memorize it. So Okay, so I just went through and cleared that out real quick. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and select our tree size. I've got two different, two different tree sizes that I have. That's how many. My first tree size, I'm going to go with a large A, and I'm going to do a moderate inside wrap on it. And I've got three trees that I'm doing that are at the same, same size, same wrap. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go to tree sizes. I've got, let's see, large tree A, moderate inside. That's my category right there. Or my columns rather. So large tree A is going to be 250 minutes and 750 feet for a moderate inside wrap. So that's what I'm going to enter in right here. 250 minutes, 750 feet. And what that's going to do is that's going to automatically calculate um, my, uh, my break even once we get down to this area right here. So my second tree size, I'm going to go with a large C. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. I'm going to go medium A right here. And I'm going to go with a moderate outside wrap. And I've got two trees with this size. And, and the same wrap there. So we go back up to my chart. Medium A. Moderate outside. So it's going to be 60 minutes and 350 feet. And this right here, 60. And in 350 feet. So this is going to give me my totals right here. 2,950 feet of lights that I'm going to need. My break even right here, 326.25. Just like my markup, 150%. Now let's say that I do need extra equipment. Um, one thing to consider is are you need to, going to need that extra equipment twice? So let's say that I need a boom lift and I'm going to put these up permanently. I'm not taking them down. 
so they're going to leave them up for a few years. Uh, so I'm just going to need a, a little small boom just for the installation. Let's say it's going to cost me $350. So that's going to add that right there um, based on my break even plus the markup of 150% with the $350 extra. That's going to get me to 1165.63. And the lights, I'm going to go with the 25 foot mini incandescents. So what I'm going to need to do here, um, actually, I see an error. Don't worry about it. We're going to add a spot where we'll actually uh, put the strands in. So, like I said, this is something that's a, a fairly, uh, pretty much a brand new form for us. And there's going to be little changes and improvements pretty consistently over this whole season. So, anyways, I see that that's missing a spot now. It's probably just for that one category. So, I'm going to go with 25 foot mini LED strands, 6 inch spacing. And that's going to allow me to do it right there. And let's see how many strands I need here. 2,950 feet divided by 25 feet, so 118 strands. You can give me a light charge of 16,2250, total of 2788.13. You can go ahead and click next here. All right, so we're getting close to the end here of our form. Now with the light stakes, if there's going to be uh, lights along the driveway, along the, the uh, pathway, these are the type that we're going to use. It's only one difficulty level, so all we have to do is put in our total feet of light line that we're going to use. Um, we go 500 feet. It's going to give me my break it, uh, break even. I'm going to select my markup, 150%. Gives me a labor charge of 351.57. Type of lights that I'm going to use. I'm going to go with C9 light line, 12 inch spacing. Feet. Um, Again, internet from above, 500 feet. Light charge 247.50, total 599 with all these decimal points. That's another another thing that we'll probably take out and fix it. But obviously, you get the, the gist of the price. It's 599. And another thing, like I said, I'm really just going through this to show you guys how to, to do the form. You, you wouldn't want to be mixing LEDs and incandescents like I'm doing on this. I'm just showing you the different selections, the different ways that you can do it. But you don't want to mix them because you want to have that same color and that same tone of light. So you really don't want to mix them up as far as like roof lines, trees, and that sort of thing. Go ahead and click next there. Okay, so now, Reese, we're going to have basically two different dif difficulty levels of uh, Reese. Difficulty level 1 and difficulty level 2. And that will allow to, uh, us to select the number of Reese at those different, different difficulty levels. So I'm going to go with... Two at difficulty level one, and I'm gonna go with one at difficulty level two. It's gonna give me my break even. Go ahead and select my markup, 150%. No extra equipment cost. Uh, then I've got my labor charge of 118.13. And then my materials, I need to select my quantity, which I can add that up there. I'm gonna have three total. And that's something that we're gonna to change to 10, by the way. Type of read. I'm going to have, let's say, an LED 36 lit read. I'm going to have another LED 36 inch. And then lastly, I'm going to have an LED 60 inch read, big one. Okay, so that's going to give me my total price on the uh, cost of materials of the read. And then also the uh, the total of the labor, for, or I'm sorry, this is the overall to total for the reefs and the labor to install those reefs. Okay, and I'm almost out of uh, time here on this one again, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click forward to the next cell, and this will be our final final one here where we're going to look at all of our totals. You can see a little bit of that right here. It's got all of our total charges, all of our um, itemized items with our totals down here, light totals, labor totals, and this is the point where we're going to be able to fill out the form that's going to email to the customer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here.